So uh, today is May 25th, and that would mean that it is just about a year since I got my first store. So this time has went by just incredibly fast. I mean, it feels like yesterday when I was, you know, just signing the lease on the first um, first store that I got last June, I believe. I believe June 1st was when I got that place and then started moving in like June 2nd or June 3rd. Um, so it's been a year and in that year period, it has been work. There's really been no time off. And if I said I would take a day off, what would usually happen is I'd end up going right back or I would get bored and come right back. I never really took any time off. I just kept going, you know, late nights and this and that. And about, well, for probably a few months now, I've just been feeling kind of burned out, you know, haven't really been as motivated as I was before. And then a couple weeks ago, like two, three weeks ago, it started getting really bad. I really was not motivated at all. And I'm, I was just really burned out. Now, since I've been in this, uh, this office, so the, for maybe the first office, I may have taken some weekends off and stuff, but this office, I really have not taken much time off at all. It's been you know, usually seven day weeks and oftentimes, you know, nights, you know, late nights up to anywhere from nine and nine, nine p.m. to one in the morning, depending on my workload. But recently I haven't been able to do that because I've just been having no motivation this last week, particularly at the end of the week. I came here. I just didn't want to fix anything. I just sat here and just didn't want to fix anything. I was just burned out. So this weekend is a Memorial Day weekend, which is a three-day um, three day weekend, and Monday's a national holiday. I decided on taking the weekend off. Now, I haven't really done this last time. I think the last time I said I was going to take time off was Thanksgiving. I took a day off and then ended up coming back because I just got too bored. Um, today, I you know got away from the shop, got away from home, and it, it was good. I felt a lot better. And even having walked four miles, I feel a lot less tired than I would if I came here and fixed stuff all day. Um, I don't know, maybe exercise helped or maybe just getting away from the nonsense at the shop and then some of the nonsense at home just helped. I don't know, um, but I'm probably going to do that again. And I am planning on taking, I took the day off. I only came here briefly. I came to clean um, just because the shop was a mess and I want to come back on Tuesday to a clean store. I don't want to come into a mess. Um, but I'm planning on taking tomorrow and Monday off and hopefully I'll feel better. I'm fairly certain I will. And the thing is, is there going to be some customers that, that are going to be annoyed that I'm taking tomorrow and Monday off? Yes. Do I care? No. Because having worked seven days a week for the time period that I have, oh well. If you are upset over that, that you cannot, uh, that I'm not going to be working on your computer tomorrow or Monday, then be upset, whatever, go somewhere else. I really don't care. I need to take a couple of days off because if I don't take a couple of days off, I'm going to get burned out worse. And burnout is never good. So th I'll kind of explain what this is. And um, um, what was I going to say? So the, I, a lot of store owners can probably relate to this. So procrastination. So you have an annoying repair like this iPhone board that's been sitting on my bench for several days. Um, what you'll do is you'll procrastinate. So what you'll say is, you know what, this this is a nightmare. I'm going to not work on this today, but you know what, tomorrow I'm going to come in. I'm going to fix this as soon as I come in. Well, when you're burned out, what's going to happen is you're going to tell yourself tomorrow, but tomorrow will become three days. Then tomorrow will become a week. Then it's a month. And Next thing you know, you're still saying tomorrow, and it's been 30 days since you haven't touched something. So that's kind of how you know if you're getting burned out. And that's kind of at the point that I've been lately on some stuff. Um, nothing mainly MacBooks, but it's been the stuff that has been either, you know, not stuff that people are in a rush for, but just nightmare repairs that have, you know, really stumped me that customers have not been in a rush for, that I put aside. And I tell myself tomorrow, but tomorrow turns into a long period of time because I'm a little bit burnt out. So what I'm going to do for my own good is take tomorrow off and take Monday off and try and get away from the store and kind of forget about, you know, all the 
the nonsense that that brings and I will I'm sure I will come back on Tuesday feeling a lot better so what I mean by nonsense is so here's the thing the way the brain works you kind of tend to focus on more negative experiences than the positive experiences so I will focus on all the dissatisfied customers the small percentage of customers that are dissatisfied rather than the large portion of customers that are satisfied so this is something that I found my brain always does and this is probably the case with most other people too you, you tend to you tend to kind of throw out the more positive experiences and you kind of think of the negative experiences so if I listen to the people that had a negative experience here so let's say the one per the people that just come in here that just are you'll get these customers that just walk in that are just dissatisfied the minute they step foot in your door so sometimes you'll tend to focus on these and that's not good so getting away from that and a lot of times when you focus on that stuff that's what slows you down that's what kind of messes with your mind and causes you to burn out because you focus on what that one irritated idiot has to think about you or say about you rather than everybody else so that's something that yeah so that that's something i'm going to get away from i'm probably going to shut off my um my business phone i'm not going to reply to any messages because yeah that will cause stress and i want to get away from that for a few days and that is the plan so i will not be um working on any stuff for a couple of days so today i didn't tomorrow i won't and most likely monday i won't um and i hope to uh, come back on Tuesday and uh, get back at it and uh, get stuff out a lot quicker because if you're getting burnt out you're not going to get stuff out quicker and that's kind of the best thing right now is I can keep going I can keep working seven days a week like I am now but then what's going to happen is I'm going to get burned out worse and you get burned out worse you're just going to go slower at it so sometimes it's just best to stop for a little bit take a break you know get rid of the burnout and then come back and you'll be faster so that's about it. So thank you for watching and um, I will see you in the uh, next stream or video.